I have a question for you. Is there anything that American football fans will not put up with from the NFL? Throughout history, corrupt governments and tyrannical regimes have used sporting events as propaganda showcases. Ancient Rome used sporting events as a place to promote their agenda. Hitler, famously in the 1936 Olympics, hosted by Germany, used the event to push Nazism and other forms of oppression. And now the National Football League resembles something out of the Soviet era in Russia, promoting anti-family, anti-gun. And the big question is, will Americans now put up with the National Football League pushing the nightmare that is Obamacare officially in their broadcast? And President Obama in the intro now to Monday Night Football with Hank Williams Jr. removed. And of course, the biggest outrage, officially demonizing last year and this year the right of citizens to keep and bear arms for self-defense. It's not just Bob Costas. It's the NFL itself is acting like Joseph Stalin has seized control of it. And football fans are putting up with it. And so we are now seeing more and more of this anti-liberty, anti-American garbage. So Americans have to decide, are you going to roll over and put up with this because you love watching your football so much? Or are you going to boycott the NFL because of their anti-American agenda? And because the NFL thinks that the American spirit is broken, because they think football fans will put up with anything, they've now doubled down. And they've banned any type of pro-Second Amendment advertising from the NFL and from the Super Bowl. Part of every day, some kind of anti-violence, anti-gun message. Every day, every school, at every level. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. A very well-respected firearms manufacturer, Daniel Defense, produced an ad that simply shows a father driving home talking about how he wants to protect his family and how it's a basic human right. He comes in the house, walks by, photos of his family, himself in his Marine Corps uniform, goes in to be with his wife and his baby daughter. And no one has the right to tell me how to defend them. And then they simply say, brought to you by Daniel Defense, and never even advertise the firearms. The reason the NFL banned the wholesome ad is because it is so wholesome and it shows how natural and good self-defense is with firearms in the hands of the American people to protect our homes. And that's why it's been banned. That's why it's been restricted. This is a pattern of censorship where they got rid of Hank Williams Jr. because he didn't worship the president and put the president in the intro in his place. You mean when, when John over. Boehner played golf with President Obama? Oh, yeah. It'd be like Hitler playing golf with Netanyahu, okay? Okay. Not hardly. We have a war on the press now in this country. Even Democrats admit it's unprecedented. We as Americans have to come together in defense of the entire Bill of Rights, not just the Second Amendment, but the First Amendment as well, and have to send a clear message to the NFL that we're not going to put up with TSA groping us to get into the game, that we're not going to sit there and be bombarded by Obama administration messages at these gladiatorial events. And we're not going to see good, wholesome, pro-family advertising banned while they allow all this raunchy pop music garbage to be spewed at our families. The NFL is completely out of control. It is being used as a propaganda system against the American people. And if we don't have a serious boycott against the NFL and against their major sponsors, we will basically put up with anything and the sky is the limit. There is an attack on free speech across the board and we have to respond to it. Yahoo, 
Google, newspapers, TV stations, you name it, have banned gun shops advertising, have banned shooting ranges from advertising. There is a reign of terror where major banks are telling gun manufacturers and gun shops, we won't take your money, you can't have a bank account with us. This is a hardcore form of economic warfare. And now the NFL has been turned into the tip of the spear to destroy our Bill of Rights and Constitution. If the American people will not wake up and if the sleeping giant will not send a clear message to the NFL that we are not going to be propagandized by it, then America's over, America's done. If they can take the so-called American pastime and turn it into an authoritarian bullhorn, we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, football is not the American pastime. 1776 and July 4th is about human liberty and the individual being empowered. It's not about giant, decadent, gladiatorial events that are about fame and fortune and shallow garbage. If Americans knew as much about our Bill of Rights and Constitution and about the free market and about what made this country great, if Americans knew as much about that as they did about how much some lineman can bench press, we would still be a free country. So will you trade liberty and the blessings of liberty for the NFL and for Obama? The choice is up to you. Contact the NFL, contact their sponsors, make your own YouTube videos, and tell the NFL, if you agree with me, that you are not going to put up with their propaganda. And if you think it's good that the NFL has been turned into a Soviet-style propaganda bureau, then by all means, put out your own videos in support of it. If you really want to live in North Korea, then tell us why tyranny is such a great thing. Let your voice be heard. Tell the NFL in phone calls and emails and on Facebook and Twitter that you're not going to stand by and be part of this, that you're not going to watch any of these games, you're not going to watch Fox that's going to air the Super Bowl, and that you're going to tell others to boycott it and spend time with their family or time at local churches and soup kitchens being with real Americans and not part of this modern Roman decadent spectacle that has become the National Football League. Give me liberty or give me death. As for me and my family, we are going to 100% boycott the NFL for the next couple years until they change their tune and apologize and promise to stop brainwashing the American people.